Hey, welcome back everyone. Rob Marzullo here, Ramp Studio Comics. Uh, so today I want to talk to you about a Photodon screen protector that I actually just put on the uh, Wacom 22 HD that I have. It's a little bit older tablet nowadays, but uh, but I, I ran without a screen protector for a little while and it was starting to bother me. I was slipping and sliding around on the screen too much, which, you know, we've talked about that on the channel because it's something that as digital artists, when we're working on direct-to-surface tablets, it can be a really awkward feeling uh, by comparison to working traditionally in you know paper where you get that nice little bit of friction. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that. I was going to show the install, but uh, my recording messed up. But I will tell you that they made a really great screen protector. It comes with uh, a cover on the back and on the front. So as you're installing it and you're working out the air bubbles, you can see there's pretty much none on here. Um, you have this extra layer of protection to really push on and, and get it all out of there. Uh, and I even noticed that after I pulled the protective coating off, I was still able to use my fingernail and get the rest of the bubbles out uh, pretty effortlessly and without damaging uh, the surface of the, uh, the screen protecting material. Uh, so Photodon does a, a fantastic job with that end of the product. And I'm going to talk to you about some of the strengths of this and why I'm pretty pretty satisfied with it. So Essentially, it gives me that friction that I like so that I'm not sliding around on the screen. Uh, it feels just like paper. Uh, Maybe a little bit smoother than paper, but a lot closer than the traditional screen felt. And I didn't notice it so much until I pulled the old screen protector off. And I tried just dealing with it because it started to get pretty marred up. And I uh, forgive me because I can't really uh, remember who that one was by. Uh, but I can already tell that this one is superior to that one. Uh, it's got a lot better feel to the uh, the friction, and it's uh, it's got a really good anti glare. Um, I actually I've got like three different lights in my studio when I'm working because it's a it's always a good idea to keep lots of light uh, ambient light in the room so that your eyes aren't stressing out over the light that you're getting from the screen. Uh, so no problems with glare there, which is fantastic, and um, the friction, like I said, is just spot on. It's got a lot more of a paper-like feel to it, which which is really the, the biggest one for me because as I'm drawing, uh, if, if I'm sliding around on the screen, I start to get out of the drawing mode and I worry a little bit too much about the mechanics of it. Uh, so I want to really just be immersed in the drawing process and not think too much about, oh, this doesn't feel right, what can I do? Now, I will admit too, the other thing that I do here is with the Wacom pens or Wacom or whatever you want to call them, but um, this is the felt tip. So the felt tip works really well, really well. And they have a rubber tip. Uh, it's like black with a white rubber tip on it. Hopefully I'm showing that in the camera. Uh, but it actually slows it down too much. So if you feel that this still has a bit too much slide, uh, you know, start with the plastic that's standard and then try a felt tip. And if you still feel like there's too much slide, go to that, uh, the rubber tip and you'll, you'll definitely feel traction there. I mean, it, it grips to this. Uh, so now the next thing is the protection that it offers, obviously. Uh, you know, so we've talked about the anti-glare, the friction. The protection is a big deal. Uh, put it this way, the time you'll really regret not having one of these is when you most need it, obviously, you know. And even if you feel okay with the drawing process on it, uh, you could have something happen like what happened to me where my little boy at two years old grabbed a, uh, a flathead screwdriver that I left out like a, like a dummy and he started to draw like dad on the screen. I'm left-handed. I don't know why I use my right, but uh, <laughs> he's ambidextrous. So he starts doing that, and it was on my uh, uh, iPad Pro. Uh, and luckily, I had a screen protector on there. So you know that's where you really have to make sure that you know you do your due diligence, and and you might just want to spend the extra bucks and go to get a good. I can't talk. Get a good screen protector because. Uh, like I said, about the time you don't have it, you'll really wish you did. Uh, so it could save you from a very costly repair or just having to avoid a certain area on your screen because there's some gouge mark or something, which would just be uh, totally off-putting as well. So yeah, so that's about it. So I'm pretty happy with the natural feel of this. Uh, one last thing I will say about the Photodon company, which I was pretty impressed with. Say you're not entirely sure if this is right for you. They offer a sample pack, which I don't want to quote prices, but at the time I bought it, it was five bucks and some shipping. And they send you a little mini sample pack that allows you to test it. So I was able to put just a little segment of the material on there, 
test it out, make sure it was right for my needs, and then go with the larger purchase and get what I wanted. So to me, that just shows a company that cares about their products and their, their customer to go that far. Also, they give you this really great kit. It's got a microfiber, it's got a silk cloth, it's got an anti-static spray. Uh, just fantastic because one thing I will tell you with anything you try to install like this, preparation is essential. Uh, the more you prep not just this, but the overall area, the better results you're going to get. And I'm talking like vacuuming and cleaning your desk before you get started, things like that. Uh, but they give you this great prep kit, which just shows, again, the quality of their product and service. So, uh, so at any rate, give it a try, see what you think. Let me know what you think of my little sketch here, my little doodle in my video. Give it a thumbs up if you don't mind. And as always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.